um, dear friends good morning hope you <coughs> hope you people are doing well <coughs> so uh, hope you people are finishing <coughs> the works that assessment i mean the assessment okay uh, see this is the third video <coughs> on this week we already gone through uh, that uh, two videos that is hybrid classification and super unsupervised uh, classification and today that is classification of mixed pixels and spectral mixture analysis so uh, classification of uh, mixed pixels that uh, that method that is known as spectral uh, mixture analysis hope you people are understanding my classes and uh, uh, we'll go for a live session on coming friday and we will discuss the uh, things we will discuss the things fine and uh, mm, what uh, hope that lessons hybrid classification and uh, unsupervised classification hope you people are uh, learn something from that uh, video lesson and today one more lesson uh, so at uh, that issue again i am repeating that uh, same issues that uh, uh, practical sessions we are uh, uh, simply lacking the practical sessions we are learning certain things uh, something what uh, learning certain things that uh, practical we, you have to learn something through practical now we are learning certain things through some theoretical lessons try to watch some other videos not just from my my one you try to learn something from other videos also uh, read some books learn some other materials of course my notes are uh, so it is on the way you will get the notes sooner than later fine and uh, you know that uh, that uh, practical sessions teaching that practical sessions through just a theoretical video that is quite difficult bit difficult and uh, uh, i expect you people also uh, try to learn something uh, with the help of this theoretical lessons and uh, we are still lacking that uh, one that that bridge between yes that bridging is that the gap that is the gap that theory in between that theory and practical and uh, uh, and what to say yes that uh, it is also a continuation of that hybrid and the supervised classification part it is something mixer see pixels here pixels means that uh, connected with raster and raster data not vector raster data and uh, uh, we are classifying image based on sectoral uh, uh, sorry based on certain set of spectral signature or uh, training samples and we are, we people are generating certain result that is called the uh, different classes we are dividing the uh, we are generating certain thematic maps that showing certain classes fine that classes represent the land use land cover land uh, maybe we people are uh, uh, preparing the map of land use maybe the thematic map of land cover land cover means the natural one natural vegetation or forest or certain water bodies that is quite natural natural uh, things that means uh, that uh, not culturally made up right and uh, uh, in that land use the use of the land that is used by the human being for different purpose there is maybe buildings built up area roads and railways certain uh, swimming pools like this that kinds of usage so we people are uh, what preparing certain thematic maps that depicting land use and land cover so it is also a, one of the method to eliminate certain mistakes and generating certain uh, what certain certain thematic map that may be clear, connected with the uh, uh, vegetation index like ways okay so that i will i am going to prepare a video. So, sooner than later i will come with a video that is uh, what that clearly depicts about 
uh, what this hmm, what is that <coughs> this uh, sorry uh, what is that this index indices and this video is also connected with certain indices that is known as ndvi vi evi normalized differential vegetation index that stands for ndvi vi that is vegetation index then evi enhanced vegetation index likewise we are uh, i will prepare a video showing that uh, that type of things and again <clears throat> let me uh, make you remember one more thing we people are the cartographers and geographers we people are studying about that uh, what spatial pattern spatial process and spatial behavior we people are, we people are trying to uh, mine the data mine the information from the satellite image so we are using different methods and this lesson is also clearly connected with statistics and uh, certain physics physics uh, that is concepts concepts related with physics and certain concepts uh, connected with the mathematics etc so there are certain formulas and all those things try to learn the formula you people are learning statistics why you people are learning statistics because in remote sensing also there are certain formulas and rules things are there so uh, so uh, that uh, introduction so uh, this is the introductory session so let us start our lesson so that uh, classification of mixed pixel that measure that method that is uh, spectral mixture analysis so uh, spectral unmixing unmixing equal to spectral mixture modeling spectral mixture analysis spectral unmixing is an alternative to soft classification for sub pixel analysis right uh, that pixel stands for digital number that raster data connected with raster data spectral unmixing is based on the assumption that spectral signature of satellite images results essentially from a mixture of small number of pure components uh, with characteristic spectra okay <laughs> if so it is then possible to use a limited number of components so that mixture of this component spectra adequately simulate the actual observations linear mixture models are the most common models used in satellite image analysis so here is also there are two models that is linear model and non linear uh, analysis so i already said ndva so here is the uh, say i already said it is connected with certain formulas and all those things connected with certain statistics actually digital image processing is, is also a something statistical processing fine right? these are the formula and all explanation how the NDA, ndva is working so it is something mixing spectral uh, that is spectral mixture that means simply we people are taking set, set, certain spectral images with mixing for certain results that is why uh, i said uh, that uh, shown that ndva it is simply i already said in that uh, landsat 8 that uh, see i am the i am using the example of landsat 8 in that landsat 8 image that's it that is the uh, now operational satellite uh, that started from 2013 and uh, maybe most probably replaced on 2021 okay so to come back to the course so in that one uh, that uh, one one data that represent uh, that consists nearly 11 different images that uh, that represents different bands band 1 band 2 band 3 band 4 band 5 band 6 band 7 band 8 band 9 band 10 and band 11 i already given that note just go through i already said please go through the that what you mean by band 1 what you mean by band 2 what you mean by band 3 like 8 so this 
uh, we are mixing these bats for getting certain results not just mixing uh, that uh, uh, that not just mixing into just uh, we are division certain uh, addition etc right we are using uh, for this uh, we people are uh, using one uh, what simple what one simple method in rgs that is known as raster calculator in rgs people are using that R, uh, raster calculator for generating this kinds of result uh, leave it as i can't explain what you mean by raster calculator and those things i will show you once if, we, if it is possible if we people are meeting together i will show you certain things right that is why see, it's showing different images that mix for certain results so that uh, that i already said there are linear linear mixing and non linear mixing linear mixing active that uh, formula and non linear mixing that uh, different uh, that formula is there how this one are creating certain what images fine mixing of different uh, different images and generating uh, certain results this is also uh, that uh, spectral mixture analysis works with spectral spectral spectra and mix together to estimate mixing fractions for each pixels in a scene fine the extreme spectra that mix and uh, that corresponds uh, correspond to scene components are called spectral uh, end endembrals endembrals what is that i don't know spectral mixtures to be so it is an example showing that uh, normalized differential vegetation index and uh, how it works this is the formula for spectral mixture linear spectral mixture bigger formula na so don't worry this this kinds of things won't ask hope this kinds of things won't ask for your examination this kinds of bigger formula see even uh, i can read that sigma something uh, it's just formulas and the, see this is the formula working uh, in, in that mission mission not mission mission right that means the computer software hardware etc fine right? this is the applying formula for linear spectral mixture in order to analyze an image in terms of mixture you must somehow estimate the uh endembrer spectra and the number of endembrers you need to use see seriously i don't know what you mean this endembrers n m n n members n members i don't know seriously i don't know what you mean by n members right let me see that definition what is that n members n members the extreme spectra that mix and mix and that correspond to correspond to correspond and correspond to scene components are called spectral n n members see let me refer certain something certain material and i will explain what you mean n members n members n numbers not n members and n n member spectra can be called from the image itself or from a reference reference library requires calibration to reflect it so to get the to get the right number and identity of n members trial and error usually works almost always shade will be an n member shade a spectral n member often the full vector used to model darkening due to terrain slopes and unresolved shadows see why i am not getting these things properly means it is simply i have not done this spectral mixture operation okay. sorry i have done that uh, different uh, so i i know how to generate certain vegetation index it is something connected with the vegetation index it's not purely vegetation index i i know how to create different vegetation index different kinds of indices and i am okay with the principal compound analysis i am okay with supervised classification i am okay with unsupervised classification but the this kinds of things i am not see i am not done this operation fine see let me see inverse sw unmixing the that uh, spectral mixture analysis 
fine the point of spectral mixture analysis that is sma is usually to usually to solve the inverse problem to find the spectral n member for fraction that are proportional to the amount of the physical n member component to the fixed component in the pixel since the mixing equation two slides ago should be under under determined more bands that n members this is a least squares problem solved by singular value decomposition in nv nv is a uh, what mm, nv is a software something for i have i have not used that nv landsat thematic tm stands for thematic mapper image of part of the gifford pinchot national forest that is how uh, this how the quality of vegetation right is also some kinds of uh, pictorial uh, depiction spectral mixture from the gifford pinchot pinchot national forest north scheme it's, it's different it is clearly seriously it is an index right uh, as a rule of thumb the number of useful n members in a cohort is 4 5 4 landsat thematic map tm stands for thematic map thematic data it rises to about 8 to 10 for imaging spectroscopy these are many more spectrally distinctive component in many scenes but they are rare or don't mix so they are not useful in members a beginner's mistake is is to try to use too many in members foreground background analysis objective search for known material against the complex background mixture tunnel so it is not it is not for you mixing analysis useful because it makes fraction pictures that are closer to what you want to know about <clears throat> abundance of physically meaningful scene components that means which what kinds of vegetation whether it is healthy or unhealthy like that kinds of things it helps reduce dimensional dimensionality of data sets to ma manageable levels without throwing away much data by isolating topographic shading it provides a more stable basis for classification and this and a useful starting point for gis analysis so that is all that is the lesson for you today that is uh, what is that mixture spectral analysis what is that yeah. classification of mixed pixel spectral mixture analysis fine <clears throat> mixed pixel analysis so these are the things Uh, it is bit i know that it is a, a bit bit boring lesson even i i am getting boring right i know it is bit boring but uh, try to understand the concept it is using for generating certain indices i will give you one more video that is clearly mentioning what is meant by indices right it is an indices it is generated one indices right it's all are separate indices see that uh, g stands for green vegetation b shade r in pv in pv means what green vegetation fine right? so all connect in certain formulas statistics etc so <clears throat> hope you people are uh, getting the concepts not enjoying getting the concepts kindly ask your doubts i will try to clear the doubts so uh, thank you thanks for watching my lesson video lesson thank you thanks a lot